everyone in this video we're going to be talking about the journey from being a dependent developer to becoming an interdependent person and i'm going to be talking about this alongside you know a lot of soft skills that can help you be a complete developer so that you can go out to the world and conquer the world for yourself stick around to watching this video i promise it is packed with a lot of amazing things that I have learned personally that I would want to share with you. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adora and you are currently watching Adora Hack where we talk about technology, career growth and life. So in today's video, I'm going to be sh sharing with you ways to help you become a complete developer. I'm going to be sharing with you soft skills that I believe every software developer and to be honest human being needs i'm not going to be talking to you i'm not going to be giving you the normal things that you hear all the time oh have a uh, make sure you're a communicator and uh, make sure you have empathy these are great things but i'm going to be giving you a lot more so obviously you want to watch this video if you're new here welcome if you are a returning subscriber hi hello um Please make sure that you smash the like button now. It's very easy to forget to like a video as you go on to watching it. And if you are not subscribed, or if you notice that when you are smashing the like button, the subscribe button beside you is not gray, it's red. Please make sure that you smash that one too so that it doesn't feel left out. Thank you very much. I'm going to be talking about seven soft skills I feel can help you navigate life and your career in a more efficient way. And this is actually based off um, something that I have read before so this is not me reading this is based off a book this is not me reading an article and I'm coming here to talk to you about communication and empathy and planning and all of that because guess what all these things I just mentioned just belong to one soft skill at the end of the day they just belong to one thing and there's seven others so trust me there's a lot to talk about <laughs> just take that word complete complete means having all the necessary and appropriate things right so now let's look at who a complete developer is essentially i have a definition that i got somewhere and i would want to share that with you a complete developer is a developer that has all the necessary and appropriate soft skills and hard skills a lot of people know how to write code but a lot of people actually don't know how to think like engineers the first thing i want to talk about is hard skills and these are the definitions that i just pulled up your hard skills are teachable abilities or skill sets that are easy to quantify. So typically you learn your hard skills in a classroom, through books, other training materials or on the job that you're actually doing. Hard skills are a combination of people skills, character or personality traits, attitudes, character attitudes, social intelligence and emotional intelligence quotients, amongst others that enable people to navigate their environments and work well with others to achieve their goals with the complementing hard skills but to be honest even if you don't have the hard skills then so far as you have one soft skill which is being teachable you can learn your hard skill more and you can still go and conquer conquer everybody you like you're anybody do you understand conquer the world conquer the people conquer you can go and conquer you're a conqueror you're a conqueror you're a hey <laughs> my my English wire out the window just like it just went just went out the window just like that English wire I've written and all the English exams that I've written in my life I think it's conqueror yeah it's conqueror I'm just I'm just being dramatic obviously I know how to pronounce the word don't don't play with me I mean hello <laughs> anyways um since these definitions are finally out of the way I want to now talk about these things and these seven soft skills I'm going to be talking about are based off this book um the seven habits of highly effective people being dependent is basically oh i need somebody to do this thing for me i can't do this thing on my own i need the help of i need someone to tell me what to do essentially before i go ahead and do it being independent is more oh i don't need anybody or even if anybody is there it's fine it doesn't really matter because i can do this by myself then being interdependent is more i can do something by myself you can do something by yourself we can work together to achieve a common goal so from being dependent to independent the first thing i want to tell you is to be proactive there's something called your circle of influence it's basically things that you have control over 
focus on your circle of influence and and you find out that when you focus on your circle of influence you are you become proactive you know you learn and at some point your circle of influence even grows bigger so you are now able to control more things than you did before one example is okay something doesn't work out great right you write code and it doesn't work or you go to school and you fail an exam as opposed to you know wasting time complaining about the exam that you wrote and failed one thing you can think about is okay this is what happened that i did wrong this is the code that i wrote that basically just made this whole service go to shit this is the thing that i mistakenly did that made this entire thing scatter how can i learn from this experience to be a better student to be a better engineer to be a better manager because at the end of the day that's what you can control you can control the fact that it will never repeat itself again but it has already happened so there's no need complaining you are being a reactive person you don't want to be someone that reacts to every single scenario basically the brain if the breeze blows this way you follow the breeze and go if it blows here you do like this i've talked about focusing on impact and your circle of influence communication also falls in this bracket communicate when it is needed make sure that you communicate for example um, a proactive person knows that they are supposed to go on vacation in December as opposed to waiting till the last minute to communicate that with your manager so that somebody will tell you why you can't go on vacation be proactive enough to do that thing beforehand a proactive person is someone that plans ahead planning is also very important here as you can see a proactive person also seeks opportunities and not limitations going back to the circle of influence thing perfect example opportunity and limitation i got this um task at work i've never written java before i've been writing go for a very long time and this task requires me to go into like some legacy code and make a few tweaks this is an opportunity for me to leverage the knowledge on my team that already exists because i'm sure that they could have given this task to multiple people but they gave it to me this is an opportunity for me to leverage the like massive knowledge base that i have and maybe even learn a few things about the java because i may need them at some point and it will be easy for me to jump on the language then as opposed to say ah i'm limited though i don't know java please you push it. go and give it to another person go and da, 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 da. Go and give it to another person don't stress me please please i came to this life to enjoy java is not enjoyment you, <laughs> you don't want to be that person you know you want to be somebody that you know six opportunities as opposed, as opposed to constantly just pointing on limitations don't say you can't do it think about how can i do it there's this famous thing i think it was the author of rich dad poor dad that said it. i don't remember his name but i think he said something along the lines of a statement closes the mind a question opens it the next thing you want to do is begin with the end in mind what this means is know where you are going know your goal know your vision you don't want to be jumping on every single tech wave that you see if there's a new product a new javascript library and you want to learn it a new open source thing and you want to make use of it think about it before you go ahead is this going to be adding any value to me and bringing me any step closer to my goals in any way if it's not then why are you doing it so be clear about your goals be clear about your vision and don't be short-sighted on a lot of things the next thing is putting first things first i have a whole video on productivity so if you want to check out more things in that regard i'm going to have this video it's in the card you can check it out so yeah you could go watch my productivity video to find out more about the whole important versus urgent and how you handle all of that something that is also good is learning to get your priorities right and also learning to plan knowing what to prioritize like i said i'm not going to spend too much time on this so that this video is not unnecessarily long but i've talked about it in another video in a productivity video and i think you should go check out that video if you want to learn more if you're not going to take anything away from this whole video take these first three things that i have said and you will be unlocking a new level of independence let's move on to the next three things which are about getting you from being independent to interdependent and on that list the first thing is think win-win you need to remove yourself from parasitic scenarios and you also need to realize that not every case is a parasitic scenario 
I'm going to use this popular example. Um, you are a developer and you're building for clients. It's a win-win because you are, I mean, not clients that are annoying you. Please, normal clients, God bless you. <laughs> It's win-win because you are giving the person value and the person is giving you money. Even at your job, to be honest, that whole iterating on feedback and constantly improving a product or a service is going to make you become a better developer. It's going to make you become a better provider of that service. The next thing is seek first to understand and to be understood. I understand. You see, human being, we have we have opinion even when they ask us go to that twitter even when they ask you when they don't ask you when you know the person when they know the person when the person is correct when the person is not correct everybody wants to jump and strangle the next person with their opinions but it's important to take a step back think first to understand then seek to be understood in your workplace and this is something that i do a lot when my manager calls me and he's like oh adora i've been thinking a b c d x y z the first thing i say is why because i really want to understand where you're coming from i need you to bring me into your head because i need to understand why you arrived to this point and that also helps me be more empathetic in some cases you need to put yourself in people's shoes to sort of understand where they are coming from don't be just quick to open your mouth wow and be speak nobody asked you listening more is how you learn so talk less listen more seek first to understand then to be understood be patient just be patient generally it would help you go a long way the next thing i want to say is synergize and i want to read something out here um synergy is combining or coordinating the activity of two or more agents to produce a joint effect that is greater than the sum of their separate effects synergy is one thing that successful teams have in common one person cannot be the hub for 700 things and one person cannot be doing everything for 600 years even if it's a one-man team now at some point you want to scale you want to grow at what point do you start pulling people in let me give you a classic example product design is great Product design can stand on its own for the product designer when the product designer is trying to get a job in a company. Front end development is great, but if this YouTube that you are on now had only the front end, which was the very nice user interface that you see and can interact with, and it was completely disconnected from the back end, you won't be watching this video by now. Back end development is great, but you're not going to get everybody to go and download Postman so that they can be calling endpoints just because. <laughs> Just because they want to interface with your API, you have to plug that into something that now has some kind of interface that people can look at and give instructions to and communicate with. That joint force of bringing these three things together to make one product is something that is very important. And how that translates to you as a person in terms of soft skills is that you have to be open to synergizing. And also something that I want to talk about in synergy is in the process of trying to embrace the culture of synergy, you also need to understand that it's important to make people that work with you, work around you, feel comfortable. So if you do these three things, you are moving from independence, which is I know how to do this thing, to interdependence, which is I can do my thing, you can do your thing, let's work together to produce amazing results. And the final thing, which is the most important, is sharpen the saw. That's how you stay interdependent. Keep learning keep growing keep developing yourself in areas in technical areas also keep resting keep staying healthy because at the end of the day you need to maintain your physical health you need to maintain your mental health stay, stay away from things that can give you heart attack essentially because nowadays a lot of things are going on in the world sometimes it's okay to disconnect just for your mind to be in check and also as you are you know keeping your physical and mental health in check also keep your professional health your technical health in check essentially and how do you do that by constantly learning thank you on this note thank you so much for watching this video to the end if you liked it please make sure that you give it a thumbs up please 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 and when you give the video a thumbs up please also subscribe so that you know the, sub the subscribe button doesn't feel left out you know, you know as they are siblings so just like and subscribe two clicks I will see you in my next video. Bye!